I tested every single dribble pull-up in this game. I split up each dribble pull-up into four categories and assigned each one a grade. The four categories are dominant hand, turbo fade, weak hand, turbo fade, regular fade to your dominant hand, and regular fade to your weak hand. Let's just jump right into this and we're gonna go in order. But first, I get all of my jerseys and shorts from Pristine Jerseys. Their stuff is super high quality and it's only $40. Make sure you guys go check them out. I will leave the link in the description. Basic turbo dominant hand. It's okay. It's not the best. Just okay. Same with the weak hand turbo and the regular fade without the turbo. Both sides. It's just an F. It is absolutely pitiful. Normal fade dominant hand turbo. I'm going to give it a B. I like how it moves you to the side and I like the quickness. But unfortunately, the weak hand is just a D plus. And the regular fade, it's not good. D minus. We can fade, not good either, D minus. Normal two, great fade, has great speed, puts you to the side, has great elevation, especially on the left side, but the regular fades are not that good. They're actually, they're awful, but that's okay because you're just gonna turbo fade with this fade anyways. Pro dominant hand is quick, it pushes you back. I like that. Weak hand, it pushes you back even more. Gave that one an A minus. Regular fade, not good for both of the hands. Pro two, a very good fade. A lot of comp stage guards use this. The left side is super, super fast. You're only gonna turbo fade with this fade because the regular fades are horrendous. Pro three surprised me. I really like the dominant hand turbo fade. Has a lot of good height and separation and speed. Same with the weak hand. The non-turbo fades are not that good. I'm gonna give those a D. Bane is a lot better than expected as well. Has a good dominant hand, but the weak hand is very bad. The regular fades are very, very bad as well. Not worth it at all. Barnes, like I don't understand why they put bad fades in the game. Nothing about this is good. Creates no space, no elevation, no speed. It actually puts you forward on all of the fades almost. Definitely do not use Barnes. Bridges, the dominant hand turbo is pretty good. It pushes your player to the side a lot with some decent elevation. The weak hand turbo on the other end, not so good. The regular fades are also trash. Brooks surprisingly has one of the best dominant turbo fades in the game. I'm really upset because the weak hand turbo is not good at all. The dominant hand regular fade is very good as well but the weak hand is not. Bryant, this is the fade that I currently use. That's because both of the turbo fades are good. They have good speed, they have good elevation, and they push you to the side. Same with the non-turbo fades as well. Cunningham, dominant turbo fade, 2K, what is that? I'm gonna give that an F. Weak hand turbo fade, what is that, 2K? I'm gonna give it a D. And the regular fades, bro, like, come on, 2K. I'm gonna have to give these both an F, like it's it's just not good. DeRozan, dominant hand, okay, has decent elevation, but it doesn't push you to the side that much. The weak hand is good. It pushes you to the side a lot and it's quick. Regular fade, dominant hand, C+, but the weak hand an A. Donchitz, C+, for both of the turbos. It's okay, but I wouldn't recommend it. At least they're like both decent on each side. And then the regular fades, both sides, I'm gonna have to give it an F, just absolutely terrible. Paul George fade has one of the best turbo dominant hand fades, but just like Brooks, I think, the weak hand is just terrible, so it makes this fade almost unusable. And the regular fades also not so good. I would not use this fade. Hayward surprised me. Both sides for the turbo fades are good. They have good elevation, speed, height, and they push you to the side. Regular fade is also decent when you're going to your dominant hand. Unfortunately, the weak hand isn't, but still a very overall good fade. Tyler Hero, uh, why does the fade push you forward, bro? I should have gave this all Fs. I don't know why I didn't. The only reason why I didn't is because it's kind of quick, but all four of these fades are absolutely awful. Do not use Tyler Hero. Kevin Herter, dominant hand D, not good. Weak hand above trash, I guess, instead of above average, above trash dominant hand regular fade and weak hand regular fade 
are not good. LeBron surprised me a lot. I would have gave the dominant hand turbo an A, but I just didn't like the visual cue. If you guys want to go try it, I recommend it. It looks very good, just not the visual cue. And I love the left we can fade because it gives the FU3. So I thought that was cool. They threw it in there. Next to Michael Jordan, both of the fades, I'll give them a C plus. They're okay, but they're not as good as they were on 2K23. And then the regular fades are nothing special at all. Kyle, Kyle, Kuzma, the dominant hand, it's fast. That's the only reason why I gave it a C minus, but it's not good at all. Neither is the weak hand and the regular fades. They're fast-ish, uh, but uh, the weak hand's not. These are trash. Why does 2K give good NBA players terrible animations? I... I just don't get it, bro. Hopefully pro play can fix this, but everything's, but everything, excuse me about Zach Levine's, all four of his fades are just not good at all. Do not use Levine. Next we have Kawhi Leonard. The dominant hand fade is good, but unfortunately, like a lot of these on the list, the weak hand is just not good. The regular fades are just slow and bad and ugly. Like, come on, bro, it's Kawhi. Why are these so bad? The next fade we have is Murray. This is bad, like nothing. Like, bro, I don't understand. Nothing about these fades are good. DF, DF all across the board. Like, it, bro, like that's ugly. Okay, uh, Duncan Robinson. It, it's ugly, it's kind of quick, which is why I gave it a C minus for the dominant hand side. Weak hand side is awful. Regular fade, dominant hand, awful. Regular fade, weak hand, awful. Glenn Robinson the third. Straight Ds, this dude reminds me of Dwight Howard, if you know what I mean. Just all D, 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 D. Not a good fade at all. Glenn Robinson the third for anything, bro. The next fade. Terrence Ross, this is this reminds me of Dwight Howard as well. Like it's just slow. It uh, doesn't create a lot of elevation. Doesn't push it to the side that much. Like nothing. Like I guess the weak hand is okay. Siakam, uh, C plus. It's decent. It's not the best. Definitely not the worst. We've seen a lot worse in this video so far. And the re re regular. Wow, I have a speech problem. Bro. I'm sorry. The regular fades are terrible. Jason Tatum, this one surprised me, bro. Like, why are you jumping forward on all of your fades? Like, like what is, what is this, bro? This is absolutely terrible. I, would, I, I was expecting this to be good. It's awful, bro. Clay Thompson, dominant hand, godly. But just like the rest, the weak hand is terrible. And then the regular fades, just, like, just not good, bro. How are you going to do Clay Thompson like that? Come on, 2K. Vessel, I don't, don't even know how to say that. You got an F to the dominant hand. The weak side is not bad. B minus has good speed. It moves it to the side. But the weak hands, bro. Dominant hand is absolutely pitiful. The weak hand is okay. Beal, this is an underrated fade. I really like it. I like it both sides. It's rare that you find both turbo fades are good in this game. Even the non-turbo fades, the dominant hand is good. And even the weak hand is decent. A C minus. Trey Burke, it's it's I, I now actually watching this back. I would have gave this like a D plus. Like it's it it keeps you in one spot too much for all of these fades. The regular fades, those are correct grades. Clarkson, bro, come, why are you moving forward? Why why? And then the weak hands. I mean, excuse me. The regular fades again, just F and F. Not good at all. Terrible terrible fade. Not use Clarkson. Conley. Dominant hand, B plus, very good fade, good height, good speed, good elevation. But of course, the weak hand turbo is terrible. And the regular fade uh, non-turbos are terrible. Just absolutely awful. Seth Curry, how do, how are you a Curry and your fade sucks? But the weak hand turbo isn't bad. It's a B plus, but the regular fades, come on. It's a Curry, bro. Like, how are you going to do that to Steph's little brother? Speaking of Steph... The dominant hand and the weak hand turbos. They're okay. They're not the best. They're just quick. So I'm going to give those a B minus. And the regular fades, not too good. How are you going to do this to Steph, bro? The best shooter of all time. De'Aaron Fox, bro. F, 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 F. Looks like my high school report card. Like, bro, come on. Like, how are you? Like, I know De'Aaron Fox isn't the best shooter. But what's with these good players having all F? Another one. Garland. 
Bro, what are these fades, 2K? Like, why even put these in the game? <laughs> like, bro, they're so ugly and bad. Why put them in the game if they're just not going to be used by literally anybody? Healed. Another. All Fs, bro. Nothing. Like, bro, this, this actually gets me mad, bro. Why put the animations in the game if they suck? Like, no one is using these. I promise you, nobody, nobody, nobody is going to be using these. Kyrie, another good shooter. F dominant side weak side good i gave that a b plus but the regular fades come on it's an f and a d like look at it bro it's just not good at all damian lillard dominant hand is nice a minus it's clean good elevation it's quick push to the side but of course the weak hand fade turbo is awful and both of the regular fades are awful as well it is not dame time with this fade lowry d plus he 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 he's he's thick you know so he probably is you know he's it, it makes sense that he's getting all of these these as grades uh if you guys know what i'm talking about nothing about this is good at all do not use this cj mccollum dominant hand you guys know the story it's good but the weak hand is horrible he's going forward on a fade that just like it i'm not trying to front fade 2k i'm trying to fade to the side and it's just it is very very bad ben macklemore is one of the best small guard fades in the game both sides are very good especially the dominant hand side this is what i use on my 6-4 the regular fade to the dominant hand it's not too bad and the weak hand side is just okay Mitchell, this is Davion Mitchell, all Fs. His hop jumper is godly, but the fade, bro, like, it's, just, it's just, how does he have such a good hop jumper, but the fade is just terrible. 100% for sure, do not use this fade. Monk, it's not good. Just D, D, F, like, look, you guys, like, nothing about this is good. It has no speed. It keeps you in one spot. It's like, it doesn't create any space. It's not high off the ground awful on all four parts chris paul i don't really like how the leg kicks out for the dominant hand turbo fade the weak hand fade is terrible the non-turbo to the dominant hand it's pretty good i gave that a b but the weak hand i'm gonna have to give that a d i don't like it at all next we got nate robinson aka jake paul he wasn't the best shooter so this makes sense it did not but it doesn't make sense with steph because why does steph not have a good fade anyway I don't like Nate Robinson's fade at all. Do not put this on. Colin, I don't even know if that's TOS, if I can say that, because, you know, it's it's 2023, okay? We got B- minus for the dominant hand. It's okay, but the weak hand turbo is C+, plus, and then the non-turbo fades are just not good. Russell Westbrook, as you can see by the grades, it truly is Russell Westbrook. All Fs, an absolutely terrible fade. Do not put this one on at all. Please just, yeah, do not put on Russell Westbrook. Jason Williams, AKA White Chocolate, a bad fade. Fun fact about him. Did you guys know he won a ring in 2006 with the Miami Heat? Uh, so good for him, but the fade, all four of them are atrocious. I didn't unlock Dirk on any of my players, so I had to do it in here. Both of his turbo fades are pretty good. I gave them a B and a B plus. His non-turbo fade, the dominant hand isn't good but the weak hand is his iconic shot. So I gave that a B plus. Here is the full list in order with the video so you can easily go back and look at a fade. For all my guards that are 6'5 and up, my main guard build is 6'6". I use Kobe Bryant, but there is a lot of good fades for 6'5 to 6'9". You got Kobe, you got Pro 3, you got Pro 2, you got Pro, you got Normal 2, you got LeBron. There's a lot of good fades for 6'5 to 6'9". Go back in the video and check all of them out. For all the guards, 6'4 and under, there is a ton of good fades as well. My favorite and the one that I use is Ben McElmore or Pro 2. And then for 610 and above, there really isn't a lot of options in the game right now. It's just basic, normal, and Dirk, I believe. There might be one more, but I'm not sure. My favorite of those is Dirk. If I were you, I would go down this whole list 
find a fade that has a good grade in both of these categories, go back to the video, see how they look, and then try them out. Y'all got all the best fades in the game. If you want the best jump shot for every build and height, that video is on screen. Hope you guys enjoyed this. This took a lot of time. I'd appreciate it if you dropped a like for me. Have a good day. Go out. <laughs>